four or five buzzards hanging out on top of Grandpa's silo. Good stuff, Maynard. Good stuff. Big time. Well, again, I didn't get my phone out quick enough to get a picture of the buck. Here's a quick one. Here's a quick one. Who's that down there? They don't care about me. Very silly. Size does down there. Come on, camera. Have a good size does. Well, this feels 13 acres of poop. I didn't get it sprayed. I already brush hogged it earlier this year, and uh, the grass came up because it was raining. And then I sprayed these young weeds, and it uh, didn't do anything to some weeds and damaged some other weeds killed half the grass this is what it's gonna look like when I get done brush hogging just like the other I don't know six or eight acre field I just got done with because it was supposed to be in pasture but that didn't happen this year the sheep are in the pasture next year by middle of April. It'll be cut, raked, and baled. This field here, I've talked to some people. I'll clip it, get it all clipped, and I uh, got enough stuff to spray it, or different stuff. And uh, maybe in a couple weeks see what weeds are surviving and coming up through after the brush hog. If not, I'll spray it in uh, March or April next year. So I had the whole field looking like this back in uh, back in May. But then it rained for a month and a half and I didn't get it sprayed. Anyway, Always fun with the deer watching me. See ya. Okay, it's Monday, August 24th, 2020. Uh, excuse me. That was a yep, and about uh, what? 4 30 in the afternoon. Well, this is the same field I showed that I brush off uh, back in May. And, uh, oh, come on, tractor. Yeah, I had it all brush hog. Now let's get a plant corn or something up through here. But then I couldn't spray anything because it rained every day or every other day. Um, through uh, April and May and into June. So I started making hay. Then I did spray four acres through here, but killed most of the grass and a couple of the weeds, but didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. I got brush hog it all again. And 
uh, you see the, the spray I used killed probably 90% of the grass, maybe 20-30% of the weeds. Only killed a couple of weeds and the rest of them it just uh, got them sick. Trying to knock them up, beat them up, but sure didn't kill them. I got to do down there, and of course, like less than two acres I got done here, maybe two acres. So I got 11 more acres to go, and it's been so dry that hopefully I can find the five, four major wet spots. Come out here with the shovel and I haven't had any water in the creek below my house for almost a month now. At least three weeks. So if I can find a spring and get it developed, and it'll give me a gallon a lot, a gallon an hour now, uh, that would be amazing. And I'll put it in the pipe and get it to a barn, get it to a pasture. But I hate carrying water. Alrighty. Do this all again. The plan was last year to, uh, oops, after I brush hogged it, but this would be the first field that I would uh, make hay on. Of course, can't make hay on like uh, two and a half, three acres because it's too too messed up. Don't want to take my equipment over that. Too, too bad at angles, too steep. And, and too wet. So, but maybe this year I'll do that. If I can get four or five days clear in uh, end of May, beginning of June, I'll make this first. Trying to decide if I can put some kind of grain over here. Always something. Always something on the farm. Last year, right up here, I ran over a bee's nest. That was pretty interesting. No bees yet this year. Lots of bugs. Alrighty, y'all. See ya. Where's it at? Damn thing. Buzzard in a tree. Buzzard on a ram shed. Buzzard on the fence post. Don't know, there are a couple buzzards in the air. Drying their wings up after the rain we had. Good stuff. This is one of the soft spots on the hill here. Kind of like in the middle, I guess, kind of maybe. But uh, hit this spot with the lower side wheel. Made my butt pucker up pretty good. But I just uh, took a couple shovelfuls out where the tire tread was at. And uh, I was watching it fill up yesterday, but I had to get back to brush hogging. And uh, it's full up to the sod line it's under here. This is all squishy, squishy. It's on top of the clay there. Follows the side line down below. But the water was coming in from the bottom. So it wasn't just runoff coming through the sod layer. And way over there, there's... Uh, Two other real good places that uh, I got stuck going downhill. I thought I was going to have to call for help. Call for help last year, and uh, this spring when I brush hogged last time, 
It's a dragonfly kind of day if they're showing up at all. A couple thousand dragonflies out. Well, a couple weeks ago it was a uh, hundred or so barn swallows or swifts or whatever. Beautiful day though. I don't even think it's 80 degrees out here. And air movement. Leaves aren't moving, but the air is moving. Makes it nice. I'm going to pull some water out of this hole. I didn't bring my pump up with me. A little hand pump. Looks like a, a pump for a bicycle tire, but it sucks water out of holes. I'll bring it up one day. But this water is coming from up there in the woods about... 60 feet into the woods another wet spot over there about again about 60 foot up and way over there i'll get another video tomorrow maybe where there's been eight or ten real good uh uh subsidence there slides slips whatever you want to call them this whole thing has slipped countless times but over there it's quite pronounced all right y'all see ya Well, my phone absolutely freaking hates me. Got it for two weeks and all it does is piss me off. I just took a three minute video and went to hit end, turn it off, and it started taking video. Yeah. Anyways, I'm up here on the hill, brush hogging because it was raining so much, I couldn't get out here to spray, so it made us weeds. Not enough grass for hay. Well, plenty of hay, grass for hay, but too many weeds to actually call it hay. Anyways, it's a froggy, actual frog, not a toad, in this puddle. It's, uh, in the springtime here, it got the tractor almost stuck. There's a spring that breaks to the top of the water, a seep, about 150 yards that way. And down here at the creek, uh, about 200, at least 200 yards away. So again, I'm in the middle of a hay field on the hillside. And I've got frogs. Simply amazing. I'll get a picture of them here in a minute. And I got stung by a bee on the nose. So it's all swelled up and snot's running. Swelled up like a rock. Ah, fun stuff, Maynard. Get a picture of that frog in a minute. Okay, so I got the hose taking the water out the hole. Looking for a frog. In the middle of the hayfield on the hillside hayfield about 150 to 200 yards from any real source of water I don't know where you at little probe There he is. Hey, Froggy, I'm gonna leave you there. But that is a wet soft skinned regular frog no toad nothing about him you'll be underwater there in about a minute there buddy hey we got almost an inch of rain last week and that was the first rain in about a month springs are drying up everything's brown Telling some people if I developed springs upon a hill in this super dry, not drought, but damn near drought weather. If uh, if I can get a gallon an hour during a drought, I would be very, very happy, happy. See, Tony.
told you in about a minute you'd be covered up again. I mean frog. Whatever. See a whole lot more toes than I do frogs. Not watching the time here. It might be more than a minute before you covered up all the way, Mr. Frog. I guess I can say I got a frog pond on the hillside. It's climbing up your back there, buddy. You're gonna have to blink here in a minute. Hi, here you go, you blinked at me, hi. You look very much taller now. Okay, well, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, the holes here is just about, well, maybe just over the very bottom there. Two garden spades deep. That was the lower tire on a tractor that stopped the tractor. Yep. I had to go play to a couple other spots. Okay, y'all. Looking for water. I got about an acre and a half to brush hog over there yet. Fun stuff. See ya.